What's up, Elite Fenix athletes? It's Chris Harrier. Welcome to another video of Official Fenix. Today, we're going to be analyzing how McGregor and Mayweather are training to prepare for their fight. Listen. All right, so let's get started. So today we're gonna to be analyzing how McGregor and Mayweather are training to prepare for their fight. This is gonna be a boxing match. Now, aside from all the years of form and technique that comes into boxing, boxing basically consists of quick jabs, explosive punches for the upper body, a lot of core engagement. That's basically what controls the rest of your body from your limbs to your legs. Lower body footwork, agility and explosiveness, which is something that you apply from your upper body, core, all the way to your lower body. This is something that's gonna allow you to evade those punches as soon as they're coming, as well as be able to land them as soon as there's an opportunity open. And lastly, it takes a great amount of coordination and mind-body connection, mind-body reactions. Like Bruce Lee once explained it. When there is an opportunity, I do not hit. It hits all by itself. He does not go for the punch. The punch just happens on its own. The punch just punches. He does not even think about it. It's a body reaction. He's trained so much that as soon as an opening appears, his hand is already hitting that opening before his mind can even think about what just happened. So he's basically in like a meditation state while being fully aware of his body and coordination. A good martial artist does not become tense, but ready. Not thinking yet, not dreaming ready for whatever may come. This is why when you're training for combat contact sports, you're mainly training with calisthenics. You're not really training with weights. You can build a lot of power and strength with weights, but if you have strong legs, a strong core, and a strong upper body, but if you cannot simultaneously apply them all together, you're basically useless when it comes to these sports. Boxing is a full body sport. You need to be fast and explosive. Calisthenics trains you specifically for that. In calisthenics, you're engaging your fast twitch muscles, explosive strength. You're training a lot of coordination because you're using your body to train. And of course, you're developing a body mental awareness, a body mental connection. Eventually, you do a lot of these and this is gonna come like breathing. This is gonna come second nature to you. If you see Mayweather and McGregor preparing for their fight, you can see that in their trainings, they're using 70% calisthenics. They're using moves like jump rope, which is gonna develop their coordination and endurance. You have to basically keep a beat, keep a rhythm. And as you stay mentally concentrated on this rhythm to not skip a beat and not to lose that jump rope rhythm, so you're constantly being aware, coordinating your body as you begin to fatigue and you're building your endurance at the same time, as well as building your cardio, of course, which you're gonna need to last during a fight. So it's a great move to be doing when your goal are to stay in the ring as long as possible. They're doing muscle ups, which is a full body engagement. It's a full body control movement. You're using your whole upper body to bring you from complete dead hang all the way to the top of this movement. Now that's explosive strength right there. Not to mention the grip strength that you're gonna be developing when doing these type of explosive workouts. You see, when you're lifting weights, the external force is just the amount of dead weight. But when you're doing calisthenics, you're doing workouts like this, the external force is your own body weight. It's literally like you're battling against another body, which is yourself. So if you can completely control and manipulate your own body, imagine what you can do to somebody else. So let's go into a workout that's gonna consist of exercises that Mayweather and McGregor have been using in their training to prep for their fight. The first exercise we're gonna be doing is jump rope for coordination. Then we're gonna move into muscle ups for an explosive full body control. After we have flag raises for core engagement. Next, we'll be going into explosive push ups, training for upper body strength and explosiveness. Next, we have high knee taps for footwork and agility. And last, we're gonna go for ab wheel, which is gonna train your full body connection and your core. So if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Let's go right into it. First, we have jump ropes. All right, now, with jump rope, you'll see Mayweather going crazy with these things. Don't be afraid to get creative. Start off just being able to do jump rope steadily at a steady pace. And once you master that, try doing it with one leg, switching legs, try different patterns. These different patterns are gonna stimulate your reaction time as well as train your mind-body connection. So let's go for it. So once again, hang on this.
Always keep the core tight the whole time and regulate that breathing. Keep those knees up. All right, it's a good little warm up. All right, next we're gonna go into muscle-ups. Now, as I said before, this move right here is gonna test your full body explosiveness as well as your coordination, grip strength, and a lot more. Let's get right into it. To get the most out of it, start from a dead, dead, dead hang. You know from here, there's no momentum that's gonna help you up. All right, let's move it on. Next, we have flag raises. Let's get some chalk. All right, so this is a special move right here. We're gonna be getting into flag raises. Now this move specifically is gonna train your side core as well as your obliques. It's a lot of times where you can be taking blows right on that side. So having a strong side core is gonna help you to take in a lot more of those hits. This move is also gonna train your lats. Now your lats play a big factor when it comes to having energy and power behind a punch. Throwing it as fast as possible as well as having some weight and power behind it. So we're gonna go ahead and go for these flag raises. So you wanna put one hand down and we're gonna put one hand on top. So with this grip right here, we're gonna lift our body up, keeping our body straight. All right, so there you have flag raises. Let's move on to the next exercise. All right, here we are at the parallettes. So we're gonna go for explosive push-ups. Now, as you can see, this move right here, it's very similar to the movement that they're doing when they're throwing these punches. So being able to explode Boom, as hard and as fast as you can. And specifically, not just exploding weight, but exploding your own body, your own body weight. That's gonna replicate doing that to an actual body, doing that to an actual person in the middle of combat, in the middle of a fight. Now, while we're doing this movement here, we're gonna add in a little bit of coordination and body reaction by exploding and then landing on the ground, exploding again, and being able to catch the bars as soon as you're going in the air to come back and explode off again and catch on the outside. So let me show you what this move looks like, guys. As you can see, that move right there, if you don't react fast enough, if you don't grab at the exact same spot, you can find yourself hitting the floor, completely missing the bar, which one, will hurt, as well as it's gonna train your reaction time. It also trains your precisioning. You have to go straight for that bar. If you miss that bar, you're not gonna make it. So being able to use that precision in a fraction of a second when you're up in the air to grab the bar, come back down, and of course do it all controlling the body, controlling the entire movement. So now we're gonna go on to a move that trains your agility 
and your footwork. We're gonna go into high knee taps. This move is also gonna bring up your cardio. Let's go ahead, go right into it. Make sure that you keep your knees really high. Here we go, three, two, one. Try to test yourself. Try to go as fast as you can for a couple seconds. Slow it down. Alright, we got the last one. pretty tough. You got the ab wheel. Now this move is probably one of the most important moves because when it comes to physical activity, when it comes to moving your body, when it comes to sparring, the main power and the main technique comes from your core. So actually having a super, super strong core is going to be a great advantage when it comes to sparring or any other physical sports. When you're engaging your feet, you first start by engaging your core. When you're about to throw a punch or when you're engaging your upper body, you first start by engaging from the core. So the core is being used to engage your entire body. Every action you do is being driven by the core. So the stronger core you have, the stronger your actions will be. So let's get right into it. Now this move here, we're gonna use every muscle in our body to do this. So you need to have a really strong core. We're gonna go all the way out. move right there that's a killer move right there you're making your body completely vulnerable completely extending all the muscles in your body and being able to suspend your weight from there that's a body connection right there so to sum it all up when your goals are to fight in the ring for a billion dollar match the way that these professional athletes train is through calisthenics so if you guys want to take your training to the next level become a member right now to fenx.com get full access to all our workout programs, all our technique guides, and all our daily workouts. It's gonna have you training like a beast and gonna have you in the best shape of your life. Not just looking strong, but actually being strong. Download our Thenx app in the App Store to take our workout programs with you everywhere. It's like having us as a personal trainer in your pocket. And we guarantee you, if you're following those programs, you will be looking shredded. And if you guys need a little extra push during your workouts, definitely, Go check out Thenx Ignite. It's our pre-workout on our shop right now. Thenx.com slash shop. You can go there and pick it up. It's going to have you flying through your workouts. You can also go on to the Thenx.com slash shop and you'll find our brand new joggers. They're in stock right now along with our shirts and a whole bunch of other equipment that's going to take your training to the next level. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, we post every Sunday, 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And the first Thenx athlete to like and comment the video as soon as it uploads is always gonna win some Thenx gear. So make sure you're the first person here to like and comment as soon as the video uploads. And don't forget guys, when we hit 1 million subs, I'm gonna be releasing my first video on my personal Chris Heria YouTube channel. You can go ahead and subscribe to that YouTube channel right now by visiting the Thenx YouTube homepage. Look on the right side and you'll see my Chris Heria personal page right there. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you'll be the first person to see when my videos are released as soon as we hit 1 million subscribers on this channel. And if you're the first person to like and comment my videos on the personal Chris Heria page, you're always gonna win some Chris Heria gear as well, guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let us know what you want the next video to be about and we'll see you guys next Sunday 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. We love you. Peace out.